So this is a video to tell you about what's happening online in Boston for free. These are activities that you can do for free and enjoy from the comfort of your own home during this quarantine. First, what's available for free in film. The Coolidge Virtual Screening Room and Online Film Education Classes. Beginning March 25th, they'll bring you curated new released films they had hoped to show this month, but instead you'll be able to enjoy it at home. They're pleased to announce Coolidge Online Education, created to keep the senile community socially connected and mentally stimulated during this unprecedented time. Another offering is the Boston Theater Marathon, special Zoom edition. It features readings of 10-minute plays by New England playwrights in collaboration with New England theaters via the video conferencing tool, Zoom. More information can be found on these links. The Boston Underground Film Festival, Buffo Stream, a collection of feature films from previous editions of BUFF, from BUFF alumni and or films in the spirit of BUFF, streaming on a platform near you. Many of these films are available on Shutter. Get a free 30-day trial with code SHUTIN. Next up, the Brattle Theater Hashtag Break Your Algorithm Virtual Repertoire Series. This weekly selection of two to four films will draw from the unseen corners of the most popular streaming services, mostly Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. The purpose is to present some options that your trusty computer algorithms seem to ignore. More information can be found on these links. Next up, art, museums and galleries. The virtual MFA and Gardner Museum tours, Google Arts and Culture, the online platform dedicated to providing public access to the collections of some of the world's most preeminent art museums, has partnered with over 500 global art institutions to open their virtual doors to the public. Next is the Piano Craft Gallery Social Distancing Gallery. The Piano Craft Gallery recognizes the decreased number of opportunities for artists to publicly share their work. This week, they'll be launching the Social Distancing Gallery, a social media gallery with the goal of representing New England's multidisciplinary arts while responding to public health recommendations. More information can be found on these links. Museums and Galleries Continued The Feminist Futures Virtual Exhibition at Boston Center for the Arts the Boston Center for the Arts may be closed, but you can still experience its current Mills Gallery exhibition, Feminist Futurist, at bostonarts.org. You'll find photos from the exhibition, exclusive videos, and selected reading for Feminist Futurists. Next up, Artists for Humanity Social Distance Art Gallery. Artists for Humanity is launching a much-needed daily dose of art with their Social Distance Gallery. In times like these, we're all artists experimenting with new ways of being, seeing, sharing, and helping. Everybody with an important paint box of ideas and resources and collaborative spirits to match. In that sense, we're all artists for humanity. Next up, Somnyama Gonyama, Hail the Dark Lioness virtual tour. Zanele Moholi uses their body as a canvas to confront the deeply personal politics of race and representation in the visual archive. Moholi playfully employs the conventions of classical painting, fashion photography, and the familiar tropes of ethnographic imagery to rearticulate contemporary identity politics. More information in the links provided. More offering in arts, music, and theater. Club Passim's Keep Your Distance Fest. Club Passim decided to close and cancel all their shows through at least April 5th, but it's now hosting a virtual music festival, Keep Your Distance Fest. Passim has reached out to musicians in their community to get on the bill. The Boston Symphony Orchestra, BSO at Home. Over the next six weeks, you'll have a chance to hear some great performances by the Boston Symphony Orchestra, drawn from the amazing archive of recordings of concerts given in Symphony Hall in the orchestra's summer home, Tanglewood. More information in the links provided. Music and theater continued. Apollinaire at Home Play Readings. Readings are hosted by Apollinaire Favorites, and the cast includes all those who'd like to join in. It's not a performance, rather a fun social read of some favorite plays and film scripts and a chance to read some future favorites. Boston Lyric Opera, Norma on Demand Streaming. 
Beginning March 29th, Biolo's Norma starring Elena Sakina in the title role and conducted by music director David Angus will be available for free on demand, audio streaming on their websites and accessible for the next month. More information on the links shown. Next up, what's available for family? Starting with a virtual visits with the New England Aquarium. While the New England Aquarium is closed to the public, they'll continue to update their social media with live videos, behind the scene looks at the aquarium, and even fun activities for everyone to participate at home. New videos are updated every day at 11 a.m. Franklin Park Zoo to you. Every day at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, tune into Franklin Park Zoo and Stone Zoo's Facebook pages for hashtag zoo to you. Each day will feature something different, like a daily dose of animal cuteness, live chats with their care staff, crafts and activities to do at home, and more. Next up, food and cooking. Milk Street Online Cooking School free classes. You won't just learn recipes, you'll learn new ways to approach food and cooking giving you a reinvigorated enthusiasm for putting dinner on the table. They're making their entire line of online cooking classes available for free through April 30th. You don't want to miss this. Branch Food Virtual Series for Food Entrepreneurs Branch Food launched a new virtual series called Serving Up Support, which they have crafted to help food entrepreneurs and business owners navigate the uncertain times of COVID-19 and stay afloat. Each session features one topic and one expert who can provide practical insights on managing your food business during this challenging time. Each consists of a 20-minute presentation followed by a 10-minute Q&A led by an expert. The Pandemic Pantry with Celeste Rogers. Rogers is a chef, instructor, recipe developer, food writer, and culinary content producer. Join CHOP champion Celeste Rogers for daily dinner deets and fantastic eats every Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Next up, fitness. Link's Fitness Club Workout From Home. Introducing Workout From Home, Link's latest free virtual training program. Whether you're working from home or on spring break, being able to keep up with your fitness routine is key to maintaining a healthy immune system. For a limited time only, they're offering 30 days free to members and non-members. Receive three weekly workouts via the mobile app at TrueCoach. Core Power Yoga, free online archive. With six locations in Boston, Core Power Yoga is the largest yoga studio chain in the United States. While studios are closed due to coronavirus, Core Power has made its online archive of classes free until studios can reopen. More in fitness. JP Center Yoga Pay What You Can Online Studio. Their daily live stream classes are on a sliding scale. Pay anywhere between zero to $20. It is important to them that everyone has access to yoga. So all that they ask is that you pay what you can to support their teachers and small business. They feel that is their path forward to support and preserve community health. BKBX Austin Instagram Live Classes. BKBX Austin is hosting daily virtual cardio circuit and power burn fitness classes on Instagram Live. Classes are designed to make use of what you have at home for weights and other equipment. Dance offerings. The Dance Complex, DC Live. The Dance Complex has a new schedule of online classes, workshops, chats with guests, artists, and performances all available to you virtually and free. Click the link for more information. Project 31 Virtual Dance Studio. Project 31 is a Boston-based, visceral contemporary dance company and arts organization. Project 31 Contemporary Dance will be shifting company class into their virtual studio beginning March 22nd. To join the fun, download the Zoom app and click the appropriate link at class time. They will be accepting pay-what-you-can donations, accepted in lieu of class fee. Venmo at Project 31. Other options available. Empower Her Virtual Market by Boston Women's Market. Join them at the virtual Empower Her Market now through May 31st and support women entrepreneurs and small businesses in your community. In this difficult time, it's more important than ever to come together to support women entrepreneurs and small businesses in your community. Be the change maker our community needs. Next up, virtual tours of the USS Constitution. USS Constitution is scheduled to host daily virtual tours using Facebook Live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time beginning March 17th. 
The ship's active duty sailors will take viewers through the ship to include several areas normally close to the public and provide an opportunity to ask live questions. At 2.50, 10 minutes of daily mindfulness. Let's stop and take a deep breath together. At 2.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every day of the week. Because ongoing stress can lower the immune response, because physical distancing can cause feelings of isolation, and because probably the things on your plate can wait 10 minutes. Stay safe during this quarantine and enjoy these activities. For more information, go to the URLs provided. Oh, my God.